Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. When we send the email to reset the password, we get this link. Now we need to set up a route and a view, because this has to show a view to set the new password. So let's start with the route first. I will open web.php and below here I will set up the new route. So the route is a GET request, so route GET Reset The controller will be the same Forgot password controller At Reset password Let's also open the forgot password controller and create the function for this So public Function Reset password Okay, of course this is not enough because we need some parameters. One of the parameters is the email, so let's add this email, and the other one is the reset code. Let's do the same for the for the function. So right here, email and reset code. So I will save the web.php file and inside this function, for now, I will just return the email and the reset code. So, email colon reset code in order to see the result. So, I will save, I will go back to this, reload, and as you can see here, we return the email, which is right here inside our URL, and of course, the reset password right here as well. So this information is enough for a small verification, however, we do not know if this reset code here is valid. So I will start by verifying that the user with this email address right here exists in the system. So let's do that. I will just remove this return here and I will say user equals to user by email and we pass the email. This by email function here is something that we do not have and if we reload, so let's save, go back to this reload, you can see that it complains that, that this by email is an undefined method. This is something that I always like to do because finding a user by email is something that I will do a lot, right? So let's create the function for this inside the user model. So I will open user.php and down here it will create the function. So it will be a public function, static, by email, and this accepts an email. And the code for this one is very simple. We just have to return static, where email equals to this email, and we get the first user. So this part here is something that you would do in order to get the user by that email. However, calling this by email inside the password, the forgot password controller like this, it is shorter and those it is more readable. So let's return this user and see if this works. So return user, save, back to this, reload, and as you can see it works. However, if I change the email here to something, for example, I add a couple of other letters there and I press enter, this will return a blank page. So let's return an error instead in case the email doesn't exist. So right here we want to check if count user is equal to zero, which means that the user doesn't exist, then we want to show a 404. Let's give this a try. And we do, we get a 404 now. Okay, so we took care of the email, let's now take care of the reset code. So we want to check if the reset code that we pass exists for this user right here. So let's try this. Um, we can say here if reminder equals to reminder exists user. So if there is a reminder for this user, then I will return one, else I will return zero. And we can also get rid of this. Now the problem with this user here is that exists requires to implement the user interface and we have already seen this a lot. So for now we will take the quick route again, but in the next video we will do some refactoring. So let me do it here. Sentinel, actually let me do this below user. Sentinel 
user equals to sentinel find by id and we pass the user id so instead of user here we can use the sentinel user and this will work okay let's give this a try back to this reload and of course we have to pass the correct email so delete the extra characters there reload and as you can see now this returns one which means that there is a reset code for this user however this will check only if there is a reset code for this user which means that if you change the reset code a bit this will still return one so let's try this uh, let me change the reset code here press enter and as you can see this still returns one so because of this and let me get this back to the normal url so because of this inside this if here we will check if the reset code that we have as a, as a parameter which is this one right here is the same with the reset code that exists for this user so let's delete this return one and have the extra if so if reset code is equal to the code of the reminder for this user return yes okay let's now save this go back to this reload and probably we forgot a semicolon mm, yep right here go back to this reload oh come on <laughs> line 45 oops did i delete the sentinel user my bad let me write this again down sentinel point by id okay let's go back to this okay so this return yes which means that the code we have here matches the code inside the reminder that exists for this user now if the code doesn't match then we want to return no let's try this so let's change the code here enter and you see it returns no okay so quickly let's add some redirections in case something is wrong so instead of return no and zero we want to redirect to the root of the application so here i will say return redirect to the root i will copy this and paste it here okay now in the case of yes we want to return a view so let's do that return view authentication dot reset password now the view so inside the resources views authentication i will create the new view here reset dash password dot blade dot php i will copy the code from the forgot password and I, of course i will change this let me see if this works so i will go back to this reload and as you can see it returns the view so let's change the view we need two inputs for the password so i will replace the email input here so this one will be lock the type will be password the name will be password the placeholder password <laughs> and what else mm, i think this is enough so i will copy this form group and paste it so now we have uh, the the name for the second one will be password underscore confirmation so you need to add this underscore confirmation because we will do some validation some server side validation where we validate that these two inputs this one and this one they are the same they match each other of course we also have to change the text for the placeholder to password confirmation the text of the button to something like update password and the form axiom well we could write down the full uri or we can just say axiom without specifying anything inside to post to itself okay so before we give this a try we need to set up the route and the function for this so inside web.php let's take care of the of the route this one will be a post request the uri again is the same as i said and this one has to change to post reset password 
So now I will create this function right here, public function post reset password. We will get some data from the server, so we need to get the request. We will have an email and the reset code. So I will just return a request all here to make sure that this works. So return a request all. Okay, let's give this a try. Reload. So I will just say 123, 123, update password. And as you can see, we get the data. So inside this function here, we want to pretty much take the same steps as we did above inside the reset password function. So simply copy all the code actually and paste it here. Of course, we have to take some extra steps. First, the validation. We want to make sure that the passwords match. Laravel offers different ways to perform validation, so I will use this one. Right at the top, I will say this, validate, and I will pass the request, and then the validation, the rules for the validation. So the password has to be confirmed, because we said that we want the password to match, right? We want the two inputs for the password to match. Then the password is required. The minimum password, the length of the password, the minimum will be 5, and the maximum 10. Then for the password underscore confirmation, we will just say required, minimum 5, maximum 10. Of course, if we have errors, we should display the errors. So inside the reset password, we will do exactly that. I will delete this if here and below the form, maybe somewhere right here, we will display the validation errors. So if count errors are greater than zero, which means that if we have errors, then what do we want to do? We want to display some errors, right? So I will say here alert, alert danger. And then we will loop through each error. So for each errors all as error. And of course here we have to close this. And for each we have an ally and we will display the error. Also close the if there. And let's take a look. So I will try this now. I will go back to this. I will add some random password here and there. Update. And as you can see, this says the password information doesn't match. And we get some errors for the, for the length of the password. So the validation is working successfully. However, if everything is OK, we get no errors. So let's try this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Update password. As you can see, we get no errors. And this is because the logic is missing. So let's take care of it. So inside the post reset password, we still want to get the user and abort if the user doesn't exist. We know about the exists uh, problem. That's why we have the Sentinel user here. And we still want to make sure that the reset code that we pass is equal to the reset code that exists for this user. However, instead of displaying a view, we want to complete the reset password process. So I will delete this return here and let's have some logic. Reminder, complete, and I will pass the user that we want to reset the password and then I will pass the reset code and of course the new password. In the end, we want to display a successful message so the user knows that the reset password was successful. But I want to display that message at the login page so the user can log in immediately. So let's do that. Return, redirect, and we will redirect to the login page with success. Please log in with your new password. 
This will not work though, because in the login view we check only for an error session. So let me go to the login view and include a success session here. So if session success, alert success, session success. Now in case something goes wrong, we could display a message for each of these cases, like we have done here. But I will leave that to you. For me, redirecting to the root of the application without a message for now is fine. Ok, finally let's give this a try. In order to avoid errors, I will reset the database and request a new password and update the password later. So, php artisan, migrate, refresh. We do not have seeders for roles, and as you can see here, the table for roles is empty. So let's add the roles, insert, we have an admin, and we also have a manager, manager. Okay, let's take a look, yep. So let's register, and like always I will use a temporary email. So I will go to register, I will add my information here, and I will set the password to secret for this case, and we will change it later. Now let's go and activate this account that we just created by clicking on this link right here. Alright, we got activated, so let's now log in. And of course you see that this works. Now I will just log out and reset the password. So this is my email, send code. We get this flash message here and we will go back to this email and click on this link. Excellent. So the new password will be 12345, 12345, update password. As you can see the redirection with the flash message worked. So let's try to log in with the old password. So the email is this one and the password is secret. You see that we get wrong credentials. However, if I try with the new password, this works. Okay, so I think that this will conclude a full authentication system, there is nothing missing. So upcoming videos will be about refactoring, using AX calls and return a JSON response for success and errors, and probably some other new stuff. If you have any idea for this course, you can reach me out on my social media accounts, links in the description.